guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to check out another video. If you've never viewed Beauty J's vlog, welcome to my channel. I really want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and all my new viewers. If you are viewing and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you go subscribe and hit the bell to get alerts for all of my upcoming videos when they're uploaded. Also follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook as well to get... Did I just like do that like a lot? <laughs> Well, I'm guessing you clicked on this video to check out my review and my first impressions on the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. This is in the color Caramel and I will be applying this foundation with two different techniques today. I'm going to use my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and also my Real Techniques um, Expert Blending Brush. I actually didn't notice that I was using two Real Techniques products until now. First, I'm going to go into my Vino Active Naturals Face Moisturizer. I am absolutely in love with this moisturizer. I feel like it really makes my makeup go on smooth and it keeps my face like super hydrated all day. Now I'm going in with my AOA Studio Wonder Skin Primer and I'm going to be using this just in my T-zone today it is very hot and I usually get oily in these spots the most. And I am doing my first impressions like I said over the Elf Flawless Finish Foundation in the color Caramel. First things first, I just want to say how cute this bottle is. Like, It looks like it would be like a high-end makeup and I really like that. I feel like first impressions on everything is everything, you know? It comes with a pump, which is a good thing. That prevents like a lot of messes. Um, if the foundation spills over, like nothing will come out. So I'm going to apply all over my face. And I will blend from there. My biggest thing will definitely be um, how this foundation um, covers my acne spots and my dark marks, all of my problem areas. I'm going to go in with my damp beauty blender by Real Techniques and I'm going to blend this all out. So far it's really light on the skin. I kind of feel like I would definitely need a second layer to get a full coverage. Which is understandable because it is a drugstore makeup. And I know some of them you don't have to do a second layer. But for most of them you probably do. Now I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Face Expert Brush. And this is clean. Ladies, make sure all of your tools that you are using are clean. And with my brush, I don't like going circular motions. I kind of just blend it out using stippling motions and I'm having like a bad acne day so far I kind of like the brush more than the sponge I kind of feel like this is actually pushing the product in instead of taking away some of the product Okay, so I don't know if you can see the difference, but I definitely can see a difference. I feel like this eye is definitely more fuller coverage. It could have been because I put more foundation on this side as well. Um, I don't know if I did, but I didn't try to. The brush pushed the product into my skin, into my pores, and I feel like my sponge kind of took away the product. So I would definitely apply this foundation with a brush. Now I'm just going in with a second layer with my brush to have a fuller coverage because I really want to see how good this makeup lasts throughout the day. I also kind of feel like it gives me a dewy kind of finish. It's definitely not matte. I didn't think of that when I bought it. If it was like a matte finish or a glowy finish so it gives me a dewy finish all right moving right into highlighting i'm using my ulta beauty contour kit today to highlight i'm going to be going in with my yellow highlight with my bliss and grace spoon brush and i'm going to go in with my kat von d locket concealer and i'm going to apply a little of this under the eye just for a more fuller coverage and i'm 
going to Belinda, Kalina, and I with my sponge again. This is more aesthetic. I like to look up when I'm doing this so that I can get in those creases. And I'm not going to bake today. I'm just going to go ahead and set my concealer. Now to set the rest of my face, I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses Mineralized Skin Finish Powder and this is in the color Golden Honey and I'm using my Beauty Creations Foundation Brush and I'm using my Beauty Creations Powder Brush to apply this powder and I'm going to push this into my skin everywhere else that I didn't highlight. For contouring, I'm going in with my MAC Skin Finish Bronzer in the color Dark, and I'm using my Beauty Creations Big Fluffy Fan Brush. And I'm going to really work that product into my cheekbones. I'm then going to use my Fluffy Round Brush and contour my forehead, because it's kind of hard to contour your forehead and all the other parts of your faces with a fan brush like that's really hard so, like it's all up in your edges and now I'm going into my makeover essentials contour kit and I'm going to be using this shade here to contour my nose I'm using my MAC 168 brush to contour my nose today Now to set my face, I'm going in with the Magic Collection Makeup Setting Spray. Then I'm going to go in with my Madly Matte Lip Gloss by Clean Colors. I'm about to go do something to this head now because I know y'all tired of looking at it and I will be right back with the finished look. All right, you guys, this is the final look. I am so in love with this red lip that I have on today. I feel like this foundation is a really good drugstore foundation. I would definitely know by the end of the day um, if it does good as far as like being outside, running errands and stuff. If it is still covering all of my dark acne spots and it doesn't fade away I will post a picture on Instagram so make sure you go follow me on Instagram because that's why we posting my update I will not have time to record later if you like this look please give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to like subscribe comment any questions you have please comment them down below I definitely would give this foundation I would give it two thumbs up. If you are looking for a more fuller coverage, you would definitely have to go in and do like a second layer foundation. Just one was not enough for me. Thank you ladies so much for coming to watch. I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Peace.